Well, here we are, starting the rebuild. Right, Scott? We. Oui. We. Oui. So these are, the, <laughs> that's not what ended up in the crash. That was a test bend. But yeah, those are being replaced. We got, look at that, shiny, painty, new holes, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna chuck this on time lapse and you can just kinda, we'll fast forward to a couple of hours from now and, and we'll see how we're going. Oh, it doesn't look like we got much done, but we did. Rear rudder pedals are on. We got some replaced rivets where they need to be replaced. Biggest trouble was making this thing work again because it wasn't working right. Anyway, we are making progress and it's time for ground school. So we're going to go to ground school. Don't worry, they won't start without me. I'm the instructor, <laughs> but we are late. Cowbell? You got any Shout cowbell? Out to Todd, though. Shout out to Todd. There's his cowbell. So, how do you think today went, Dave? I think today went well. Yeah. I think so. Maybe a touch slower than it should have. I was hoping to get more done. I find there's somebody holding us back. It's me, right? Is that what you're saying? I don't think we should point fingers. Or should we point at the people working on the go kart, the dune buggy, instead of the uh, the airplane? They're definitely not the guys with the video camera. No, it wouldn't be me. Sure. Definitely wouldn't be me. It's probably me. Anyway. All right, we're going to ground school. So this might be the end of this update video. I might come back and film more and it won't be the end. So only you will know when you either continue watching or I say goodbye. Ah, still this video. Shucks, you thought it was gonna be a new one, didn't you? Nope, no such luck. So we're back, it's dark out now and it's uh, hours later. We've had some supper, and the uh, kid had a bath and put to bed. And we have the tube up here on. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? So that's on and tight. That's on and tight, that's on and tight. This is not yet tight. This is still loose because we still have parts to put on here. I'm changing this out. That'll be new whenever we're all done, but we are definitely making some progress. It's starting to look like a beaver again, slowly. Right, Dave? Right, Dave. All right, well, I guess that's the update for now. I, you probably saw some time-lapse stuff. I wasn't really happy with the way it went, so I'm not doing any more. So too bad if you liked it, I guess. Um, I'm going to turn this off and go back to work before Dave beats me. He does that every now and then, but I deserve it, so it's okay. Right, Dave? Right, Dave. <laughs> well, would you look at that. Just look at it. Dave with his Timmies. My American viewers might not know what Tim Hortons is. It's the Canadian version of Dunkin' Donuts. If you will. As it were. All of the tubes are back on and the throttle is hooked up again and all of the bolts are tight. We replace some rivets with bolts because I do not like rivets, I like bolts better. The only thing that's not tight currently is the bracing for the landing gear and that's because that has to come off for the pod to go on. The, the tubes go through the pod. 
Now we're not putting the pot on yet because Scott will have to be here for that to help me figure out how we're going to rebuild the landing gear. So this is what we have to work with so far. We have a couple of brackets and a couple of bolts. These bolts here used to be rivets and we turned them into bolts because we thought either we could use that for subsequent landing gear support and if not we can pull this front end off now without a drill. Before we had to use a drill to drill rivets to get it off, now we won't have to. We can take the whole front end apart with just wrench and ratchet. So that's cool, I think. I don't know, is that cool, Dave? That's awesome. It's awesome. So, uh, she'd be back together. I'm happy with how it turned out. You may be wondering why the top of that isn't painted, where we painted everything else so shiny, black. There's actually a really good reason for that. Inside, oh, we forgot these, Dave. We have the back ones, we don't have the front ones on. We have front seat brackets here too that need to go on still, so we'll do that in a second. These are silver. This is silver, and this is silver. And coincidentally, all three of those silver things will fully support the average person's weight. So when climbing in and out of the beaver, I can tell new customers and new students and new passengers, grab a hold of anything silver and step on anything silver to get in and out without damaging anything. Because the fiberglass pod has absolutely no structural support. In fact, it says right on it, no step. And these tubes here, there's, there's nothing supporting that until you get all the way to the front and back here. So you can't even step in the middle of this. I can step on it back here, but that's, that's not silver because I sit in the back. Nobody else does and I know where to stand and sit. But uh, yeah, you can't even stand on these. Uh, at least it wouldn't, I wouldn't want people to. This would be okay, but the other seat bracket gets here. And so anything silver you can use to climb in and out. So I guess until we figure out what we're doing with the front gear, we're done for now, which, uh, which is good. It's kind of bittersweet. I enjoy working on this, right? Right, Dave? Right, Dave. Right, Dave. <laughs> so, uh, so say hi to Tony. Tony? Todd. Todd? Todd, not Tony. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Yeah, no, Todd. Uh, see? Hi, Tony. Hi, Todd. Hi, Tony. Tony the DIYer. He's one of my avid uh, watchers too, so shout out to Tony too. So the T's, I guess, all get shout outs. And if your name starts with T and you're watching this and I didn't shout you out, it's because I can only remember Todd and Tony right now. Apparently I remember Tony better than Todd. I always, I never forget Dave though. Right, Dave? Dave. Dave. <laughs> He's funny. Okay, we're going to put the front seat bracket on and then uh, we'll probably call it a night. So thanks for watching, I guess. Um, next video will likely be front landing gear. Um, I'll show you how we're going to do that. We have to come up with a plan first. We're thinking steerable nose wheel. In the past I had just a fixed nose wheel and it works. I like fixed nose wheel. It's simple but it'll be easier to teach with a steerable nose wheel. So that will be the next step. And then after that put the Instrument panel back on, as you can see, it's sitting in the back seat. Redo all the wiring. Most of the wiring is still hooked up. Just kind of rerun it and tidy everything up again. And then pod back on, trailer it out to the airport, put the wings on, and a couple of test flights. Make sure everything's good. Do a couple shakedown flights, and then we're flying again. So, we are getting close. We're almost at the end. Anyway. That's what the front seat thing looks like. Did those, all those, those holes lined up and everything? Perfectly. Wow. That's a testament to Scott's drilling, not to my drilling. Very well done. He's a good driller. All right. That's it for now. I guess we will catch you next time. So if, uh, if you enjoy this video, let me know in the comments. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments. I can answer them there. Um, feel free to share. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, I don't know, all that fun stuff. And uh, catch you next time. Bye, Dave. Bye, Dave.